Hi guys, how are you today? Happy November 2023. Today I bring to you a brand new product to my planner uh, lineup. It's called the Infinity Planner Portrait because it is in portrait mode. It's an infinity, it's part of the new infinity series that I'm launching. And that's because you can use it over and over and over again as much as you want. It's undated, but fully hyperlinked. And I think you're going to absolutely love it. So let's get into it. As you know, with all of my planners or all of my products, I come out with it in the four main color palettes. Okay. So, um, with the, I do have plans to add other color palettes, but right now this is the four. So, um, this is the joyful palette and the color, you'll see the color show up in the tabs. You will also see color show up in the months, just the monthly heading there. And then you will see the colors show up in the covers. Okay. Now, when you go into the neutral color palette, it's all, uh, you know, black and white. Everything is very simple, except for the covers. Um, the covers also show the joyful color palette because just because you want a neutral planner doesn't mean you don't want to pop a color on your cover so this is the neutral covers okay then we have the pastel which looks like that and the colorful which is like a little reverse rainbow okay but today we're going to go through the joyful palette because Joyful is my absolute favorite. Okay, so when you download the planner, you will it'll look like this, and then you can either swipe or you can tap on the little home button at the top right, and it'll take you to the information and resources page. So on this page, you just have information about the planner. I have hex codes here for you to add to your pen presets, or if you'd like to make graphics in Canva or Procreate or whatever, you know, you can use these colors and they will coordinate. And then down at the very bottom, we have my um, contact information and um, where you can, you know, for Etsy, my website, Pinterest, TikTok, or YouTube. Okay. Now the next page is the, or the next icon is the paper templates. These are all the templates that are offered. There's 83 templates and covers included with this planner. They are the exact same templates that are used in the 2024 planners. And also I think the mid-year planners had that too. Um, so you have, they're broken down into categories. So we have notes, templates, lists and specialty templates, and then covers. Each one is hyperlinked. So when you tap on the box, it'll take you to um, you know the template where you can copy it and paste it behind the um, notebook. I will go into at the end of the video each one. We'll swipe through each one so you can see all of the templates up close. But for now, we're gonna wait on that. Um, so let's get into it. This has this is the index icon up here and this will take you to the index for the six subject notebook so this one the infinity planners will have a six subject notebook the dated planners have a 12 subject notebook okay so in this section you can add um you know headings for your notebooks and you can list the contents of each one i've also added a tiny little space for um, because GoodNotes came out with internal linking recently. So if you'd like to put your link there and you know, write out what's in it and put your link there, that way you can just jump right to it. You can do that. Or if you tap on the section number, um, each notebook section has this little index page too, if you prefer to keep everything, the contents of your notebook um, in here, you can do that. Okay, so moving on, this next little calendar icon takes you to the at a glance. Um, page. And again, this is a undated planner, so I'm not putting in, um, you know, dates because you could be using this in 2030, right? Um, so you can fill this in however you wish. And uh, it's just a nice little resource for you so you can see your entire year at a glance. But now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get into the actual planner. So each month, well, it starts in January and ends in December. And each each month follows the exact same 
you know, layout. Um, but one thing I want to make sure you understand is that every single page, so every single page in January has the links to all of the days at the top of the page. Every single page has the weeks. There are five weeks for each month. And then they're hyperlinks. So you tap on them and it'll jump to week five or week four, however you have it. Okay. So for, um, and that, so let's, yeah. So end of sentence, I guess we'll say. Anyway, so this is the monthly calendar and each monthly spread has four parts. Okay. So you have the calendar, then you have the monthly overview, you have the monthly vision, and then you have the monthly notes. Okay. And they're all hyperlinked, these little buttons. So right now we're going to look at the calendar. The calendar is completely blank because it is undated. And I also left the days of the week un unlabeled as well, because in case you're a Sunday start person or a Monday start person, you can type or write in up here, which one you prefer. Okay. So this is your monthly calendar. And also if you hear barking or scratching, it is um, my dogs. It is getting close to time to EAT and we just fell back. And so their tummies are extra hungry right now. So if you hear them, we're just, I'm not going to stop. We're just going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> anyway, aren't, aren't all of our tummies extra hungry right now? I know mine is. All right. So that was the calendar. Now let's do the monthly overview. And again, you'll see the top of the page is the same. A monthly overview, use it however you want. If you want goals or, you know, birthdays or important events, I give two, um, two columns of check boxes left and right, and then a nice uh, grid at the bottom. Now we move on to the monthly vision. And again, you can, or yeah, you can swipe or tap. So vision boards, I mean, people really love them. I use a vision board and it is because uh, I'm a visual person. So I put that in to um, my, this planner because I really like it. So the top of the page has a little spot for images and then the bottom has spot for writing. Or maybe, you know, you use this for, you could also use it, you know, if you want to do like your highlights for the month, you know, you could throw in pictures of your favorite events and then write about it. You know, it's completely up to you. I, I like to make things flexible. Now we go into monthly notes and it's just a nice spot, a nice vast space to write. So that is the um, monthly spread. So each one follows the exact same layout. Now let's look at the weeks. The weeks, week, when you tap on week one, it takes you to obviously week one. The days are at the top. Again, they're all hyperlinked and don't worry, we'll get into them. The month is hyperlinked as well. The weeks have a horizontal layout. I did label the weeks. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with a little spot for you to write in your, um, number, the date. Then at the top, we have a small like rectangular, rectangular box for you to write in, you know, maybe your focus or something motivational, however you want to use it. On the uh, left side, it's just lines and the right side, it's lines with little check boxes for like a to-do list. So you'll see up here, it says week one, cause we're on week one. And then you have week two, three, four, and five. Within each week, you have weekly lists and weekly notes. So week one has weekly lists. And so because, you know, we all have more, <laughs> you know, you have things you have to do and then you have the things that you'd like to do, whether it be, you know, your to-do list or your grocery list or tracking or whatever. So that kind of falls into the weekly lists page. So you'll see you have um, some flexible space up here and then you have two columns with check boxes, another um, nice large, box that is just, you know, flexible and like a little grid for tracking if you're tracking things for the week. And then you have your weekly notes. And again, you can tap or you can swipe. Okay. And then weekly notes exact is the monthly notes. It's just a nice open spot for you to write. Now, um, one thing that's different between this planner and my other planners is everything in like the month is together. So you have the month, so you could just swipe if you want to, and then you have all of your weeks in a row, like so. 
you can do that. I mean, obviously you can um, jump around as well, uh, but it's, I just, I, I put them all as just like one group. So you've got everything for January, everything for February, everything for March, etc. All right. So now let's look at the days, the days. Okay. So we're going to go to my birthday, which is June 26th. So when you tap on it, it'll take you to the day. And so you have the 26th of June, and then you have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can highlight that if you'd like. And then you have links so you can jump back to the weeks, whatever week that falls on. So this is your daily layout. You have a nice big spot at the top, three little boxes on the left, a nice space um, on the right here, and then you have hours from five to, uh, through 11, and then you have check boxes on the right. And it's just, I love it. <laughs> I really love it. And then you can jump around if you want, or you can swipe, however you like it. But that is the the core of the planning pages. Um, yeah, it's just very flexible and I love it. I hope you love it too. I really, really do. Okay, so now let's move on to the templates. So you can see up close and in depth what these templates look like. Um, again, they're the same as my dated 2024 planners. So I'm going to, each one is hyperlinked, but because they're also in order, I'm just going to swipe through, okay? So this is the small lined, medium lined, large lined, small graph, medium and large, small dot grid, medium and large. Oh, wait, wait, wait. God, I do this every time because I'm in such a hurry. Okay, so you have dot grid, small, and then you have small dot grid, like like kind of boxed, if you will. Then you have medium dot grid and then medium dot grid in a box, large dot grid and large dot grid in a box. Now we have blank. Now I offer um, dark mode just because some people do like to write in dark mode. So we have dark mode lined, graph, um, dot, and blank. Now we have hex paper. We have um, it sounds like my dog's throwing up. Um, we have margin, like line paper with a margin, small lines with a margin, medium lines with a margin, and large lines with a margin. Now we have lines and dot grid, excuse me, Cornell notes, what I call brainstorming paper. And then we have lines over here with two boxes on the right, and then it's reversed. We have graph paper on the left and a open spot on the right. And then that's reversed. We have uh, lined with check boxes on the right and then reversed. So the check boxes are on the left. We have split lines. So it's two columns. We have story paper. So you have spot for um, images up top and lines at the bottom. We have, um, now we go into our list. So all of the lists follow the same. You have unlined and lined. So this is two columns, unlined and lined. And then you have four unlined and lined. <laughs> you have uh, six unlined and lined. And now you have 12 unlined, lined, and then colored. So these colors are the same as your um, whatever color palette you purchased. And then the neutral planner will have this. It'll look like this. So pastel will have the pastel colors. And now we have tracking. So this is seven tracking, seven like wide with um, lines at the bottom. And we have 12 column tracking and 12 column tracking with lines. We have a weekly schedule. We have, um, I believe, project paper. So you have a spot for your description of the project, the steps that needed to complete it, notes, and then sketches. This is goals. So if you have uh, goals that you're trying to complete, you have the purpose, motivation, notes, and then uh, objectives and steps to complete that. So you have three of these. Then we have password template. We have a, like a check register template, uh, budgeting, template, 
meeting notes templates. So you have purpose, attendees, action items, who they're assigned to when it's due, a summary of your meeting, and then a little spot over here for notes. Here we have assignment uh, for like uh, school. So you have due date, class, description, is it done, turned in, and the points you received or your grade. Then we have a piggy bank, so you can, it's like to track savings, just a fun little way to track savings, and then a fun way to track the books that you're reading. Then we go into the menus. The menus are all the same, the only difference is the start date, or the start day of the week. So it's a Sunday, so it goes Sunday through Saturday, and then you have a spot for notes and a spot for groceries. So that's a Sunday start, and then you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and so on. Now we get into the covers. So um, this is my planner, and then you have my planner in black, and then it's stripes. So you have one stripe for every color of the palette. and then a multi-stripe, and then it says my year. This is the one that you'll see when you download it, and then my year in black. And then you have a blank cover because you could design your own, put, you know, make a photo collage or however, whatever you wanna do, I just added a blank one because I thought that'd be super fun. So I hope you think it's super fun too. All right, so that is the bulk of the planner. That is, um, that's it. And um, it's, again, it's undated, but it's dated. I mean, because when you, you know, all the days are dated, it's just, so that way you can use it year after year after year, because it's always January 30th. It just, you can highlight, is it a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And there is a free trial of this planner on my website. So you, that way you can download it, try it out, see if you like it, see if it works on your device, make sure. And, um, also, if when after you purchase, this is very important because this is new for um, my customers. After you purchase any item in my shop, any digital item, now I have over 9,000 free stickers for you. That is password protected. So in your Etsy order receipt, that is emailed to you. And it's also in your profile order. Only if you're um, not in the app, okay? you will see it'll say notes from write it down books or notes from Erica. Um, in there, I give the password for you to access the free stickers on my website. Okay, so um, be sure to, you know, if you place an order that you read the receipt, and then um, also hang on to that. Well, you don't have to hang on, it'll always live forever in your Etsy account. But that same password is going to be used for a new community. Um, that I'm going to be forming in 2024 for my customers. All right. So if you have any questions, please reach out and ask. Um, download the free trial. Um, what else do I want to say? I hope you love it. I am so excited. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Yes, this is going to come out. This is the Infinity Planner Portrait. And then an Infinity Planner Landscape will be coming out later. Okay, because I do already have an undated planner, but I am going to actually swap that out. I think I'm going to change it up because I like this better. I just, I like how my style has changed. So, all right. So I hope you guys have a wonderful month of November and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.